friends, I decided to do uh, for Fantasy A Thon since it's an 11 day readathon, I'm going to break up my vlogs into books that I read. So basically, I did my rereading of Six of Crows vlog, and this vlog is going to be dedicated to Crooked Kingdom. Good morning, friends. It is, what is it? It is Tuesday, April 9th. It's day five of Fantasy A Thon, and I'm currently reading. Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. Um, I did start this on Sunday night. I read like two pages, so I wouldn't really count it. Um, I didn't really update you guys yesterday other than um, the Six of Crows, like the ending part of Six of Crows vlog, which I'm actually uploading on my computer right now. Um, however, I wanted to update you about Crooked Kingdom. This is another book that I got on Audible using my credit. Um, and I think that this is a great fantasy series to be able to listen to on audio. Usually when I read audiobooks or I listen to audiobooks, I read along in the physical copy of the book along with the audiobook. And I am still doing that from time to time with Six of Crows. I did it that way and I'm also doing it with Crooked Kingdom. But I'm also able to abandon the book completely and just listen and it's so freeing and I'm enjoying it. I think I was on page 127 and then I read chapters 9 and 10 um, at the butt crack of dawn this morning um, but I managed to read like over 125 pages yesterday which was amazing and then I've already read two chapters this morning. Hi friends I'm checking in. It is Thursday April 11th which means today is actually the seventh day of fantasy on and I've only completed one book so far which is crazy um, but these are chunkier books here to give you an update so I'm reading Crooked Kingdom I'm about here and even though it looks like I'm halfway um, I'm only 48% which I guess is almost halfway hi guys it's about 553 and about 6.30, my husband and I are taking off to go to Ikea to pick up our bed and the picture that I bought. Um, so I have about 30 minutes to read. I'm going to do that. But I spent a majority of the afternoon um, taking the Enneagram test. Um, I got this book. It came in the mail today. I had a chiropractor appointment after work. So I took the book with me and I just took the test. And I'm a type six, which is the loyalist. Um, engaging, responsible, anxious, and suspicious. Um, so I'm going to be working on learning about my Enneagram. And from what I've read so far, it's pretty spot on. Good morning, friends. I'm here with an update of Crooked Kingdom. Um, I did read some last night before I went to Ikea, but my husband and I left here about 6.30. We didn't get back until a little after 8.30. Then I watched Survivor from the previous night because I recorded on my DVR. And then I went to bed, read a little bit more, and then I went to bed, obviously. Um, I've read a little bit this morning. I finished the chapter, let's see. I don't know. I've read about a chapter this morning, a chapter in a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's Friday, April 12th. Um, so the readathon, fantasyathon is coming to a close um, in the next three days. My goal is to finish this book, which I should definitely be able to do. Oh my gosh. So I just finished um, reading the end of chapter 24. And <laughs> I was so there for it. But of course, in true fashion for this duology, everything was not as it seemed. And it was so funny, but also heart-wrenching. Good morning, friends. I just woke up. It is Saturday, April 13th. We're almost halfway through the month. And I've only read two books and I'll be finishing my third today because I'm here with an update about Crooked Kingdom. Um, I am on chapter 33, page 443, and that means I'm 70, 
99% of the way through the book. Basically, I have less than 100 pages, so I'm about to sit down right now, even though I just woke up, and listen to the last um, few pages. I didn't think I was attached to these characters as much as I was and I'm just so sad right now. Friends, I'm here with my last update for Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. This is the second book in the duology, the Six of Crows duology. It's kind of like a spinoff of the whole Grisha trilogy. And I definitely liked this duology better than I liked the original trilogy. Um, Six of Crows, I read back in 2016 and I didn't love it as much as everybody else did. But on my reread, I actually loved it a lot more more and I think that's just because I was familiar with the characters and the basic plot and that the heist wasn't the whole story. This is obviously the second book and um, we're following many of the same characters, some new characters, and I really enjoyed it. This is 536 pages and I know Six of Crows was like 400 and some, so it was over 900 pages. It easily could have been broken down into a trilogy and I think that would have been better overall some general thoughts of the duology is even though the characters were in their teens I never when I was reading a story that wasn't believable for me um, I think Inej was 16 and I think Kaz was um, 18 and I think Matthias was 19 or 20 um, so he was the oldest character in the story um, except for maybe the parents of the main characters um but basically that was never believable to me um another thing to note is is that i liked how um we saw multiple perspectives from all the different characters i talked about that before but what i did not like is how both of the books ended on a new character a new point of view um even though i it was okay like it concluded the book and in Six of Crows I didn't mind as much because I knew there was another book but in this one I wanted one more little chapter from one of our main characters that we've been reading from the beginning and I didn't get that I did like the final chapter in Crooked Kingdom um, and Six of Crows but I just it felt wrong to end with someone else's point of view um, I'm going to put this down because it's very heavy. Um, some other things to note is the pacing of this is all over the place. There's some parts that are really action packed and there's some parts that are a lot slower. And I think that's just the nature of the game for the overall plot and story of the duology. Um, obviously there's going to be slower parts. It's not going to be action, go, go, go all the time. Um, however, I really did like the audiobook and there were several different narrators throughout and I think that helped transition from chapter to chapter. Um, I think I'm going to rate this one four stars as well because while it wasn't a five stars just because of like the pacing and I think either you could have made it a trilogy and the pacing would have seemed better because there would have been slower and faster parts but it could have been a build up to the big like reveal of that book um this one was like slow build up to a reveal slow build up to a reveal um and i just think it would have been like spaced out better had it have been a trilogy and i didn't realize how invested i was into the characters until i started crying and i was just like wow i didn't think i would have quite that reaction but i did um 
yeah so i really liked it overall i rated both books four stars so it's a four star duology for me but this wraps up my fantasy a thon readathon um even though there's a couple more days of the actual readathon left i'm actually switching over and i need to read some other books because as you know fantasy is not my favorite genre um so i kind of need to take a break from fantasy for a while and dive into something else i have quite a few books that i'm in the middle of plus i have gotten a whole bunch of new books and i really want to read some thrillers but i also want to complete some books for my owls so we shall see what i actually end up reading next but stay tuned for my wrap up at the end of the month to see what I end up reading. But thank you guys so much for joining me for my Six of Crows and my Crooked Kingdom vlogs. I really enjoyed participating in Fantasyathon. I don't know if this was like the first round that it's ever happened, but it's the first round I've ever participated in. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye!